Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to 60 and Me. Um, I hope you're having a, a beautiful day, a happy day. This, these are adjectives I'm hoping you're putting in front of your, your day today. Did you have a good sleep? Did you, do you feel good waking up? Even if there are things on your mind, are you feeling clear headed and, um, and carefree? Um, you know, this is the time in our lives when there's just so much going on. It's hard to sometimes, um, you know, just focus on the positive. And I must admit, my meditation is my is my way that I deal with this. It's it's um, uh, a practice that I've been doing for years and years now, and uh, it just gives me that that center. You know, that wherever I am, whatever the situation, I I can kind of find the the balance. So hope you've got some techniques that you use to do that. I know I know we all have our ways, but um, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Tell a friend about 60 and Me. I'm super excited about some of the things that we've got planned for the new year. And um, yeah, we just want to share it with as many people, as women over 60 as we can. And we'll let the 50s in too. And of course, 70s, 80s and uh, beyond. It's just great to have such a wide variety of incredible women. And uh, before I go any further, though, I do want to say that I'm having my cup of tea this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having, where's my tea bag? Oh, here it is. It's actually a, a, a relatively new one for me. It's a Twinings one and it's cranberry and raspberry. So it's a, it's a fruity tea. And uh, I, I must have like, a, oh, I don't know, 50 different uh, samples of teas that I, I like to share with you. So if you've got a favorite, let me know. I'm always interested in trying something a little different. But anyway, as I was saying, we're, we're as different as the teas that we drink. You know, we really are um, an amazing community of women. And for the most part, I have found that there is a respect and a genuine caring for each other that I just don't find in too many places. Um, we do have some conversations about things that are a little bit delicate. And, um, you know, even though some people are, react emotionally um, and sometimes may feel regretful that they've, they've said certain things, um, you know, we, we basically um, seem to look out for each other. And this is what I love about 60 and Me. And this is the environment and the community that I want to um, help to nurture. You know, I don't want us to be um, kind of separated from the world so that we're in some kind of a fantasy world. You know, I want the issues that we talk about to be real and um, to address the things that we are dealing with every day in our lives, you know, in our relationships, in our, our families, in our society. Um, I really don't want to hide from that. So occasionally we will uh, raise topics that are, you know, I think are important. But again, the fundamental um, premise is that we're all going to be uh, thoughtful of each other and respectful and, um, and, you know, allow differences to not get in our way. I mean, basically, you know, we all just want the same thing, don't we, out of life. We want a good, you know, want our values to be respected. We want to have purpose and passion. You know, we want to have a happy um, family life. If we're married, we want to have a strong marriage or relationship. And we've got children. We want them to be happy. You know, that's all we want from our, for our kids is to find joy in their lives whatever they choose to do. So I'm kind of rambling a little bit this morning, but it is, it is connected to the topic I want to talk about, and that is kindness. And not such random acts of kindness that's because it's a popular cliche, but the way that I hope um, as a community and in, a, you know, in our lives, certainly in mine, that we can put that as a foundation, you know, so that we pay attention to the small things. You know, we pay attention to the ways that people engage with each other and those little things that we can do to make someone else's life special. I mean, silly things like, you know, last night I was in the uh, drugstore at the uh, at this train station, which is the only thing open here in, in the evenings. And um, I had you have to take a ticket, you know, to get the um, uh, to get to the counter. And this woman came in and she'd been standing there for five minutes and didn't know you had to get a ticket. <laughs> and she said, oh, my goodness, my train is coming. And I said, oh, here, you have my ticket and I'll I'll wait. I'm not in a rush. And, that, and she I must have it must have was like I'd given her a million dollars. Like she was so grateful that someone, you know, was just thinking of her as a person. And and so this is the kind of thing I'd like to chat about today. Just what are the little things that we can do? Now, if somebody comes at you with a negative um, comment or a different belief, I mean, one thing I've tried and seems to work a lot of the time is just saying, saying to them, do you think we could have this conversation on a different level? Can we, can we take this conversation to a different level? 
so that we can actually talk to one another about what's important to each of us. And you'll always find, in my experience, that there's something that you share. You know, even if you have different political beliefs and different, um, you know, different uh, values, there's something that you share. And finding that, to me, is the secret. And I think it's honestly kindness. I just think that by nature, people are, are kind. We want, to, we want to be good. I really do believe in the basic goodness of people, even though um, along the way you get bumped and bruised and um, it can affect your attitude. But anyway, here we are and I want to chat with you. Stephanie Raffalox, one of our bloggers, and she wrote an article, Six Ways We Can Use Random Kindness, Acts of Kindness to Help Others and Heal Ourselves. So I love that, um, that kind of dual purpose of kindness, you know, that we sometimes think that there's nothing we can do on our individual level to, to make a difference in the world. But I think that just those little acts of kindness can make you feel, you feel so much better, as well as the person that you've, um, you know, reached out to. So it's the little things that count. We've always been told that. And I think it's so true. So here's some ways that, that Stephanie suggests that we make the most of this um, and try to express our kindness. And the first one is, is of course, to compliment someone, compliment someone you know, or a stranger. That's even better. (laughs) Um, Because I mean, if you're waiting in line at a coffee shop, and you see someone's necklace, so you see their hair or their eyes or something that they're wearing, you can say, oh my gosh, that looks so nice on you. You've got beautiful eyes. Mean it. Don't say it if you don't mean it. But, you know, just find one thing that you love about that person. And, you know, you can also say to a person like in a a conference or something, you know, I really liked how you stood up for that or how you explained that. Even if it's something you didn't agree with, you know, you can say, I really respect you for how you presented that. That's a compliment and that's use and that's powerful. Because it touches the person's, um, well, their, their, their security and their confidence too. Another thing is to say thank you to the people around you. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I'm not trying to be like a Pollyanna here, but, you know, just everybody that helps you. You're the person at the, at the uh, grocery store, the, the guy who, you know, picks up uh, or delivers your mail or the woman who delivers your mail, the person who uh, collects the, the garbage, wh- whatever they do that makes your life easier. You know, just don't take it for granted. And, and this is my, my preaching, but my, my advice is use that opportunity to thank them. You know, just say thank you for what you do. I really appreciate that. Like um, I was at a retreat uh, this last, last weekend and um, I always thank the chef. I mean, he, I mean, honestly, the food wasn't, I mustn't say this, but it wasn't all that great. It wasn't like gourmet food, but it was lentils and stew and soups and hearty food. And I always thanked him because it's hard cooking. I know how hard that is. And I know how difficult uh, under pressure cooking for a group of people can be. So anyway, I, I, that's the kind of thank you for other people, despite the differences. I want to say that because um, this is a world, especially United States right now, that's a divided place. You know, there's people pretty much down the middle on almost every topic. And I think that um, we've got to start this art of good communication again. You know, be able to take um, a person that you know has a different view and just try your best to say, well, I don't actually agree with that, but I do respect your opinion. It's, it's, it's not um, useful to, to, to polarize, in my opinion. So that's, I think, something you can do is even the people that you don't particularly agree with, you can still compliment them on something. Try it. Maybe we should just try it. Offer to help. This is something that I think we all do um, unconsciously. We just want to hold the door for someone. If someone's carrying a package, we say, can we help? If someone's uh, looking a bit um, uh, fragile and they need some um, assistance, you know, we, we normally step up and say, can I help you? Although we have got this kind of uh, fear of being, um, you know, uh, I don't know what it's a fear of being laughed at or a fear of being thought too nosy or I don't know but I think it's um it's a good random act of kindness to help somebody (laughs) with their groceries or you know even something more tangible than that you know bring in the trash cans from next door or if it's snowing maybe go and shovel someone else's little driveway for just to get them out of the house but um I know that there's there's lots we can do Another thing that um, Stephanie suggests is to give back to the community. 
And we've talked about volunteering a lot, we mentoring, and I think that there's so many wonderful organizations who are doing goodness in the world that are really trying, uh, not just in our in um, the United States and, and Europe, but all around the world. Um, there are some places that are really, really struggling with Mother Nature, with um, with just things that are out of the control of the average person. So if you can do something, if it's only a donation, if you, that's the way you want to give, as only it's very important, but you can also get out there, roll up your sleeves and um, you know, get involved in the community. Be generous with your affections. You know, emails become the standard um, communication vehicle. So send a, when someone's birthday on Facebook, just don't say happy birthday, Mary. Say happy birthday, Mary. Remember that great lunch we had um, this year. I hope we do it again soon. Or happy birthday, uh, you know, John, you, you, uh, your, your comments this year have really inspired me. Um, you know, look forward to another great year of, um, you know, Facebook friends or whatever. You know, just say, that's because we tend to use Facebook a lot. But anyway, be kind to each other. You know, even if it's someone you know is a different, um, you know, a different point of view than you, just still wish them happy birthday. Wish them well. <laughs> it just makes you feel good too. And another thing is to delight in the success of other people. You know, if it's your family, don't be afraid to say, God, that was really well done. I mean, that was a fantastic whatever, painting, uh, performance, uh, you know, whatever they did. Job, job um, got, they got a job. It's like fantastic. You can give them recognition and make them feel like they worked hard for it. <laughs> you know, give them, give them the acknowledgement and talk about their successes. You know, give them the space to um, talk to you at a, at a deeper level. And listen, I think that's the heart of good conversation is just to listen, listen, you know, take it in. And then when you feel like you understand it, play it back. So I hear that you say this and say, I have that view too, but can I add mine? Um, you know, and can I add mine as well? And, you know, just be uh, sensitive to other, other points of view. Mary, Marie um, uh, Maya Angelou said, I'm going to read this quote, I have found that among its other benefits, giving liberates the soul of the giver. And I think that's really, really a cool way to end this uh, morning. Thanks for being here. You know, thanks for showing up and um, giving me your support and me your, uh, your positivity. And I'm hoping I'm giving it back to you too. So question, what little act of kindness have you done recently that nurtured your heart and made someone else feel great? What little random act of kindness have you done? Or maybe one that you've had done to you. Share your comments in the section below. Let's have an, a great uh, dialogue today. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all again really soon. Take very good care. Bye-bye for now.